yeah Steve is right in everything that he's saying he's making some important points over how Liverpool lost to this game okay of course they keep reminding us that we drew but let's face the fact Liverpool lost to the game Liverpool lost to the game how do you lose to a team in the bottom league how many chances did Dabo Nunes have? Like, how many chances did he have in this entire game? How many? And why couldn't he just put even one of those chances in the net? There was a time when the ball came from him. It was a header from Salah, who I actually felt Salah should have scored as well. But what was he doing? What was he doing? How do you hit the ball 12 o'clock when the net is just in front of you? I know, I know, people are going to say that we are coming after this guy, he has been doing so well, but sometimes some of the things that these guys were doing is what is costing Liverpool to get something in the, in the, at the end of the day. How do we find ourselves behind playing with a team that had nothing but one job to defend and try to hit us on counter-attacks? That's the only thing that they had. Try to defend and hit us on counter-attacks. We failed to get even into the game. We had the ball passing it around, passing it around, but we could not produce anything. And it was not because of not, less lack of creativity. There was a lot of creativity, but the boy we were giving the balls to turn them into a goal. We didn't want even 10 goals. We just wanted one goal. And all the chances that that one known as had were all misses. I know people are going to talk about he has been doing so well for this season, but... This is a game that we are going to look back at at the end of the season. Maybe we are one point behind Arsenal or Man City and say that this is the reason why we do not, do, we, we do not get to even try to compete for this league because we were missing of this. These are the games we are not supposed to be shouting and going crazy and getting frustrated over it in the game. Everyone who was watching this game, any Liverpool fan who was watching this game, knows that, that we lost that game. We lost the game. How did we lose this game? We just could not finish our dinner and that was the frustrating thing watching that game from the beginning until to the very end And Steven Nico here has been reminded how many times we drew in this game because it feels like a loss These guys actually felt bad that they went out of this game without winning this game And Klopp came out at the end of the game and said that we should have gotten something out of it We shouldn't have gotten anything out of this game because Luton deserved it because the boys were just not being professional enough to get the ball or to get the game done with. We were supposed to finish this game. And Trent Alexander-Arnold, don't even get me started in talking about Trent Alexander-Arnold. Okay, let me not get it so much forward, so much because I'm going out of the points of what Steven Nichols is talking about because this is a reaction. I'm going to give you my reaction over this after the Chelsea, Chelsea Spurs games before that. But now... You can see that there's so much anger in me because of what Liverpool did. Let's hear what the others have to say. Because this really feels like a loss. Every Liverpool fan knows. He's even saying really what is, makes a lot of sense here when you listen to Jan. Because also when you watch the game, Salah, an entire game, a professional, comes in. We are playing with a team that... A, a lot of people have been walloping, have been bearing so terribly and we are playing and they just cannot get something to at least get into this game. How did we find ourselves in this situation? Trust me, if even if we had played for 30 minutes more in that game, I don't think there was anything that was going to come out of this game because every chances that were being created were being hit outside of this one. I was watching the football terrace yesterday and I heard Terry saying that if Hoyland could get an opportunity of getting those chances that Liverpool were creating for Nunes, he would have scored so many goals because... It did not even make sense. Salah was just out of the game. It felt like these guys were forced to get into the pitch. I don't know, did they underrated the Luton to that point? The guys got into the Premier League from the Championship. They found themselves in the Premier League. It was not by mistake. No team ever gets into the Premier League coming from the Championship by mistake. And I felt like Liverpool went into this game feeling like it's easy work is three points and that was one of the worst mistakes we made in this game because Luton made us suffer for this the goalkeeper ended up looking like a professional because we just could not get the goal at the back 
of the net. It felt like Liverpool were playing an FA Cup goal game. It felt like a FA Cup game. And Klopp is coming out. We do not deserve into this because he saw it that we did not deserve anything out of this game. And it's just so painful that I had to watch 90 minutes of that game with nothing, with nothing, no anything to believe that we're going to create anything. And it was painful to watch. It was very, very, very painful. How do we get ourselves in this thing? And I don't want to hear states that Liverpool have not beaten any four of the last relegated, promoted teams in the Premier League. That is nonsense. We looked like we were a team that was going to, you know, challenge Man City. But not after the performance we saw today. It doesn't even look like we can even hold on to being the top four. If we play like that with Luton, with any other team, Sheffield, even Burnley would beat us. It was terrible to watch. It was terrible to watch. I can't wait to hear what Ali is going to say because what I saw was really... I think that's the best thing that you can actually understand of what Ali just said about Darwin Nunes. He is a, a type of a goalkeeper, like he reminds him of a goalkeeper who it's easy for you to score... It's easy for you to score him an easy pass into the back of the net rather than a crazy shot. He will save it like his life depends on it. Because in now when you now think about it, his, he, it seems like he has more confidence kicking the balls from a posi angle which you don't expect him to score because somehow when he scores, he becomes the hero and when he doesn't, nobody talks about it. But the problem is this, with the way Liverpool creates, so many chances you're going to get are the easy tap-ins and the easy, easy things that you should do. And that it, it, we cannot call this its lack of skill that he missed it, that chance that he was just four higher yard in an empty net. We call that lack of concentration because the boy is coming to him in his mind he's not supposed to think about the cere celebration he's supposed to think about putting he's not even supposed to be thinking the basics allow the boy to do the natural things to getting in that go into that one trust me if that was Cody Gagpo that go goes inside the net every single time because the tap-ins, the things, these are what Liverpool are known for, creating so that you you tap in the types of chances that Darwin Nunes was getting because if this continues, if this continues, the more chances that Liverpool are able to create are the easy ones rather than the crazy spectacular goals that he's going to score and they will go crazy because if this continues, man, we are in trouble. We are in trouble. It's all about lack of concentration for me. And the way he missed that chance, the goalkeeper was not even there. No defender in front of him. It was him, the ball, and the net. And he decided to kick it up to forward. That is lack of concentration. And if you don't talk about these things, if you don't come out and say what you have to say about what we saw, it's going to be crazy. We need to talk about these things. We need to talk about these types of shots. Chances that are like this, that are easy to score. We need to talk about these ones. These are supposed to be easy things you do if you are Darwin Nunes in any game. In any game. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm losing my mind here because I did not expect to drop points to Luton. I did not see that. Of course, I predicted them to be the surprise of the package that came from the championship, but not against my team. Not against my team. When I talk about it, it actually sounds so crazy, but hey, this is really terrible. What is the difference between Harry Kane and Darwin Nunes? And maybe it comes with maturity, maybe like what Kate is saying, that it's going to take time for this guy to, to really get it right. Because we, 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 we sang this, this song last season, we sang it, we shouted it, and we talked about it, but things like tap-ins, that one should be the easiest things you score. We don't want you to score the spectacular so that we go, we go crazy on you. We want you to score the easy goal so that we smile with you because no matter what, goals always wins games. And today's game, what it was lacking is the goals. And that's why it felt like we lost this game. That's why it is a loss in our heads because there were no goals. We need goals to win and you are not giving us that. 
it was even an easy one because this was a tap in it's not like the first one it's not like the shots he was taking from outside i'm not complaining about the ones he was kicking from outside i want the tap ins to be the ones that goes in because if that tap in had gone in it's probably a different game than how this game ended up to be we had to struggle we had to hope for lucho diaz to come in and actually became the savior of the game and i'm actually surprised that these guys did not talk about it luis diaz he was the difference maker people he came in and he was holding a shirt shouting that freedom for his father and i felt like i was really touched it ended up becoming an emotional game it ended up going like this but let's talk about the most important things of the game I know the father thing is very important. You, Jimon, important. A manga spotted, but in terms of in terms of this thing that I'm talking about, in terms of this game, in terms of what the points these guys have raised, it should have been double Nunes. Okay, let's call it. It was not his day. But how many of the tap-ins is he gonna miss in? We want him to score the tap-ins. We want Salah to show up in games that looks so demanding being the difference maker he used to be because if he disappears the way he did today look how we struggled to find anything in this game it can't be the only way we have to play every single time is liverpool especially if you want to achieve something it's really really painful to watch it's really really difficult people i'm telling you anyway let me know your thoughts in the comment section what did you think of the game between liverpool versus luton were you disappointed like I was? What are you expecting to see from this team? How can we improve from this? How can we be a better team? How do we find ourselves in not finding ourselves in the positions where we keep losing to teams like this? Because to be honest, I cannot take it any longer. We need to show that we are really in this competition. We really want to win something. We have to show it because at this moment, what I've seen is nothing to prove that we want to win it. Anyway, I'm out. Subscribe. I'll keep talking. I'll make more of these comments when I'm doing my review of the last three games. Remember, there's still there's still last game to be played tonight, so I'll be up for that one. Click the like button. Subscribe to the connect. I'm out. Peace.